Hello everybody, my name is Katimar. Welcome back for another video of NHL 9 Destiny mode slash franchise mode basically. On the last video we finished up the very first season for our franchise, well for the Atlanta Trashers that is, our, our team that we chose at first. Um, we ended up having a pretty decent season with uh, 45 wins, 27 losses and 10 in overtime as well, which is... Um, it's really a cool game. It's a, it's a cool season. Most of our players did very well. And uh, I'm really happy about the season we got now. We are in the playoffs now. And we're fighting out first against um, the Philadelphia Flyers. I don't know who the Philadelphia Fly Flyers have, guys. We're going to have to check that out really quick. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to look at... What they've got for them. So they've got uh, Simon Gagné, Mike Richards, uh, Joffrey Lupul, I believe. That's his name. So not too much of a big first lineup. They don't have... Doesn't look like they have a big roster in front. So we're be much better uh, offensive-wise. Scott Arnold. Yeah, okay. De uh, Briar, Abshaw. All right. No, they don't have... Any real good players or best goal, uh, goal players are Gagne, Richards, and uh, Bria, I guess. So, not too much of a big problem for us. Uh, defense wise, we've got a better defense. So, definitely, yeah, better goaltender, better everything. We're much better than them. We should be able to just destroy them completely. Let's just see how it goes, guys. I don't want to waste too much time. I want to go into free agency here. Uh, we are going to go with Sim, Sim the entire thing now. If we do this, it doesn't really mean anything. You know, it, it does. it's not going to show us the, the goals and everything. But uh, it's going to show us the goals per period. But, like, it doesn't tell us anything. So let's just see what we got. We ended up winning the first game 7-5. to five, So basically a, sh a sh complete shootout. Um, so Richards, Artnell, two goals. Upshaw, uh, those are all goals. So... We were trailing four to nothing after a first period, yes, which is, or four to one after first. Who scored our goal? Oh, Sammy Salo scored our goal. Okay, though. So who scored the fourth goal for him? For them? Abshal. Okay, yeah, sure. Second period, Lupul scored. Uh, Sterling for us. Kovalchuk for us. Sterling and a second goal for him. XLB and Fritschi. All right. And third goal, uh, Sterling got a hat trick, guys. All right, well, good game for Sterling, I guess. Got a hat trick in this one. Really did great for us. So that's how you want to start, definitely a a, uh, a playoff. We're gonna go ahead and see how they fare for this. Our team fares for the second game. Where you have the uh, the uh, oh mice and vintage, and now we're oh yeah, we're definitely dominating like we should be. So four goals, four, four to one, really good guys. This is gonna be really quick. Yeah, we're gonna definitely dominate these guys. AHL uh, season is over. I don't know if our AHL team's gonna be in the in the actual playoffs or, or whatnot, but we'll see. Let's see. We're two and nothing, two to nothing for us for the playoffs so far in this first round. we uh, we gave four goals away. Yeah, okay, we lost this one. We tried to go to come back. Uh, we scored four goals in the long run, but <laughs> giving four goals away in the first period, guys, that is not the way to go at all. I'm going to say it's just a mistake. It's one of these games that uh, the goaltender in front of us, basically Plant, he, he dropped the ball a little bit big time, but he should be able to play better. Uh, actually, he gave up five goals in the first game. Four goals in the uh, third game, and now he's giving off a third goals, uh, three goals. So he's struggling a little bit to keep the puck out of the net. We we won this one, four to three, and now we're three and one on the playoffs. We're definitely gonna win this uh, first round for sure. But I mean, Plant needs to play better if we want if we want to uh, go further than just one round, you know. Uh, further than two rounds or something like that. So another five goal. See another seven to five uh, win. We just ended up right there uh, eliminating eliminating the Philadelphia Flyers in our hometown too, which means we're going to the second round. Um, 
really good for us. We're scoring goals, which is what I was expecting. I was ex I was not expecting Plant to drop the ball big time though, in terms of giving goals away like that. Like he's giving goals like it's nothing, really now. Like he shouldn't be giving much, uh, giving goals as much as this. But oh well, guys, it is what it is. So we'll see if uh, in a minute who we're fighting off against in the second round to get a good, decent idea of what type of player uh, team they are. And it takes a long time. There we go. All right, so we're gonna face off against the New Jersey Devils for the second round. That, that's very interesting, guys. Very interesting. Uh, let's see. Let's go see really quick um, what. They, uh, they we're gonna face off against first off though my team is not that good actually when you think about it look at this I think they had a better offensive than offense than me then yeah I thought my team was better than this I forgot it wasn't that good I stealing on the fourth line remember that Sterling scored four goals uh, let's just look really quick at uh, his stats so far five goals in five games played Sterling is a beast guys. He's playing on the fourth line too. This guy is a beast. He's uh, one of our uh, medium prospects basically. One of the top six or something like that. Alright. Uh, Robinson all this. We got a better defense though. For sure. Okay so Jacques Plant. Let's see how he fared guys. I'm going to show you really quick. Pretty bad. Three goals. Almost four goals per game. Uh, he got the job done eventually but... 88 saving percentage come on now you got to do better than that we're in the playoffs right now anyways let's just go see the um, uh, New Jersey Devils all right so they've got uh, Henri Richard playing with Patrick Elias and Brian Gionta really good oh yeah they definitely have one hell of a, f of a lineup in the offensive wise Jacques Lemaire too with uh, uh, Parise Rolston Pillman, Madden, Logan Brunner. Okay, yeah, they've got one hell of a team. This is going to be rough. They're going to score a lot of goals, guys. If Plant can't keep up the... If Plant can't just, uh, like, play well, we're in uh, a little bit of trouble here. And they've got basically almost the same defense as us. We might have a little bit more of an advantage, though, defensive-wise. And they've got, of course, Brodeur. So... This might be rough, guys, for us. Let's see the first game. This might be rough. We've got uh, two stud goaltenders playing against each other. It's the goaltender that is the best goaltender at the very end here that's going to determine which team is uh, going to make it the on the, the next round. So, so far, Bradar is winning. Uh, Plant gave up four goals and Bradar gave up three goals. All right. We got good players in, uh, like Kovalchuk and... And more, um, more, I think more, but we got Robinson in the f uh, defense wise as well. But it's not gonna be enough, guys. It's not gonna be enough. This is, it might be rough right here. Let's see the second game. Hopefully, we can bounce back up. There we go. Oh, four goals in one period for Plant. Come on now. Oh my god, we, uh, we lost in OT. That's not good. Well. We're losing, we're trailing two to nothing now. We lost in OT. We, we scored four goals. We're scoring goals. Plant can't keep up the puck out on the net, guys. So, I don't know what to do. I You know what? Plant is not doing the job right now. He's giving a little bit too many goals right here. I am not liking it. So, I'm going to put um, Lettonen in there. Why not? We're trailing two to nothing. We don't have anything to lose. We're already, I'm pretty... I'm happy with where we got. We got to the second round at least in the first, the first, the first uh, year that is. So we're, we'll definitely change the lineups really quick. He's going down, trailing down, and giving goals. He's giving less goals than he was, but uh, 87 percent. No, that's too much. That's just too much, guys. We gotta get Litanen in there. See if Litanen cannot do a better job at goaltending than Plant is because. It's just ridiculous. I can't believe he's giving that many goals. Let's see what we got right here, guys. Hopefully, we'll be better. Two goals. There we go. Oh, we're doing fine now. Hold it. See? That's what I'm talking about right here. Only one goal 
Lettonen gave only one goal in the entire uh, uh, game. That's really good. Really good, guys. That's actually our first game where we only gave up a, a one goal. So that means a lot. So I'm definitely keeping Lettonen for the next game. Definitely. I uh, Lettonen is doing a much better job already. I don't know why that is, though. I mean, it's goddamn Jacques Plant. He should be able to... He's got like four six stanley cups or something and you're telling me this guy who's a playoff master cannot play in this game in the playoffs for like he doesn't play well ah uh, come on now so two to one let's go to fourth game we had the all mice advantage too but for some reason didn't work out for us okay so not so much of a, a good game four goals he gave two goals uh, right away in the first period uh let on that is uh, we're trailing three to nothing, uh, three to one now. All right. Well, I tried, I tried, guys, but Darren Adar is injured now. Are you serious? This is not the time to get injured. You're in the goddamn playoffs, my guy. Uh, come on, dude. All right, let's just assist his coach replace him, I guess. Forty-three days. He's out for a long time for the rest of this series, basically the playoffs. All right. Well. I don't know guys, should I keep Lettonen in there? I mean, it's, the, it's probably our last game here. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if it's a good choice, it would be a good choice or not. Uh, I'm gonna put Plant back in there, just because we need to have our best, uh, we need to have the best players in front of us. If he doesn't do the job, too bad. I mean, we knew they were gonna score a lot of goals anyways. The, we knew they were a good team, the New York, uh, New Jersey Devils. We just, um, we just, I just expected a little bit more out of Plant. Uh, so right now we did all right. If he do only gives three goals per game, I'm fine with that. I would like him to do give us minimum, uh, maximum two goals because he's the kind of player, goaltender he sh that he should do be doing. But Bodar is giving up a lot of goals too, so. Looks like it doesn't really matter for the overalls uh, once it once it comes down to the playoffs. So three to two right now. We've got two games. Can we make a comeback? Can we make a comeback and win it in seven games? That would be really nice for us, but I can't promise anything, guys. Let's see what we where it gets us. Let's see, guys. Hopefully, no goals in the first period. Two to one for us after two periods. Four to two. And we win it. Only two goals given by Plant. Nice. That's the type of performance I have. That's his best performance so far that he gave us. Really good. We're coming up to. We are coming up to the four, the seventh game. We made a little bit of a comeback. Now it's anything can go here. Uh, Plant, this is your chance. All right. This is definitely your chance to make it uh, make a difference here. Um, if we beat uh, Brodar in here, they would make a big difference. It's got a lot of players in there. Let's do this shit, all right? Let's make a difference. Let's make things happen. Hopefully, we'll be fine. All right, let's go. I really want to do this. I really want to make it to another to a third round. That would be pretty nice. So, one to one. Oh, four to two. There we go. We won it, guys. Four to three. Nice. Thank you, Jock Plant. He's starting to wake up now. He's giving, see, his last three games since ever since we make it, put him back in there, he had the um, he had the pressure under him and a bit of being eliminated from the C, the playoffs, and he only gave up minimum maximum three goals. That's all I'm asking because I know we can score score at least four goals per game. So that's all I'm asking, guys. Here we go. So. We made a huge comeback, won it in f uh, seven games. We're coming up to the third round of the playoff. Who we're gonna face? Oh, we're gonna face off against Toronto. Oh boy, even tougher team than uh, New Jersey. As you can see, New Jersey had 47 wins. Toronto has 49 wins. As you can see, the best player right now of the playoffs too is part of the Toronto Maple Leafs and it's Matt Sundin. Let's go like as their uh, lineups. Definitely gonna have, probably just like New Jersey, they're gonna have a one stud of a team. Oh, not not so much actually. 
Okay, so it's basically the same team as we actually have a better offensive uh, offense team than them so that's good but they've got Matt Sundin which is the best player right now in the league for the playoff but still we got a better offense all right defense they've got I'd say they've got a better defense it's better uh, it managed uh, wise so better defense for them and Patrick Roy guys they've got Patrick Roy and Curtis Joseph in here uh, for the map Maple Leafs all right well this could go any other anyway, guys. Um, anyways, we've got the basically two star goaltenders facing against each other. We've got the offense, they've got the defense. Uh, so far, it looks like it's working out for us because we're scoring five goals. Might be what is gonna happen here since we got the offense, we're gonna score more goals. Uh, they're not going to score as much goals and with a guy like Plant in there who can uh, give only three goals per game should be fine. Uh, if he only gives us uh, good performances, should be fine, guys. So let's go into the second game. Really good first game against the Toronto Maple Leafs here. Second game, 2-1 to one and 4-1. to one. There we go. That's the type of performance. Another game where we win it 5-3, to three, guys. I, it, I did think he, the same type of game, basically. We got one power play. They've got three power plays. We got to be careful about the penalties, though. We're taking a little bit too many penalties here. But uh, we're winning 2 to uh, nothing in the uh, third round of the playoffs. This is it, guys. We got to make a big, uh, a big statement here. We got to uh, put them off big time. 2 to 2. Oh, they won it. They scored at the last minute, probably. All right. Well, who scored in the f third period? Who was it that scored in the third period? They did see. Uh, it's um, Antropov. Antropov scored for them. All right. Well, well yeah, they're, they they got four power plays again. We're uh, having too many penalties. Picking up too many penalties. I'm not liking it, guys. Got to relax on these penalties. Fourth game. It's 2-1 to one for us. Let's not g give them a comeback. There we go. Make a statement right here. Another game where we win it 5-3. Uh, now, we didn't get any penalty. Uh, only one penalty in this game. So, that's uh, that definitely helped us out big time. So, we're winning 3-1, to no uh, three to one, guys. This is it. We can... Um, Beat the, the Toronto Maple Leafs and finish off finish, finish them off to go for the Stanley Cup Finals. That would be really great for our first year. First year as GM in this year. Uh, imagine, guys. There we go. 2-2. Two 3-2. Two, two two. Can we do it? We did it. There we go. 3-2. We win it. We end up uh, easily defeating the Toronto Maple Leafs for our, oh, uh, for our way better offense. And in five games, and now we're off to the Stanley Cup Finals. In, I, in my first year uh, as GM, guys, Stanley Cup pl playoffs, Stanley Cup Finals already. And we're gonna, it's going to be against the St. Louis Blues. See? It's much more easier in this game. Much more easier. It's just easy in this game to make it to the Stanley Cup playoffs. You can win f 25 in a row if you want to. It's just easy as hell compared to the newer game the newer games it's way tougher to make it to the playoffs uh, yeah and make it there it's even almost impossible to win a Stanley Cup without cheating in the new games which is ridiculous it should be a little bit more easy not as easy as this but it should be easier you know uh, this I'm just right away in the Stanley Cup finals at my first year it, now this is a moment of truth. They've got 52 wins. There's a reason why they're probably the best team of the year. There's a reason why they are in the play, uh, the, the finals. Let's go look at uh, the team we're facing up against. St. Louis. Oh, yeah. All right. They've got the offense. They, they've got uh, better player overall. More play, offensive players than us overall. So they've got Korea. We're playing with Morens and um, Williams in the first line. First line is filthy for them. Uh, second line is really good as well because they've got Kachak and Boys. 
And they also have McDonald 85 overall as a centerman for third line, guys. So they've got uh, a more amount, a better offense than me, I should say, than us. We've got a better defense, though. Better defense for us. They've got a better offense. And basically, they've got Ken Dryden up in there. So in the entire series, it was two stud goaltenders for us. We, were f we faced up against... Uh, start goaltenders the entire time. We had Patrick Roy uh, the last round. Before that, it was Brodar. I don't remember who the Philadelphia has as a goaltender, but I'm pretty sure they had a really good goaltender as well. So, see guys, goaltending, uh, every team that wants to make it far in the playoffs has to have the goaltender. They need the goaltender in this game for sure. Let's start it up. Let's see if we can win uh, the, the Stanley Cup in this series, guys, in the first year. Now, so far, not so good. Yeah, all right. We got dominated in the first game. 5-2. to two. Now, here's what's going to make the difference. We got to stop taking penalties. Four power plays? It's not going to do it, guys. Not going to do it. I am not blaming pa uh, Plant on this one. We gave up too many pa power plays. And uh, we ended up losing 5-2. to two. And also the best player right now, Paul Correa and Morens. Morens, 36 points, obviously. Ridic ridiculously good for the playoffs. Let's see the second game. Let's see the second game, how it goes. Hopefully we're going to fare better. If we don't fare better for the second game, I'm going to have to do some changes. Oh my god, we lost. Lost 3-2. Two to, three to two. Better game though. We didn't give up too many goals. Only 3 goals away for... Plant, which is uh, is what I'm asking, but the offense, the offense is just not good enough for us. We don't we don't have the offense compared to St. Louis. St. Louis has a better offense than us, and I think the way it works is the team that has the best offense and the best goaltender is winning, or uh, the team that has a good goaltender but has the best offense as well is ends up winning. It's always like that. It looks like or almost was the end for us against uh, New Jersey because of that but uh, we ended up uh, because of Jacques Plant uh, did pretty well at the very end we ended up uh, saving ourselves uh, come on third game we're in the Stanley Cup playoffs let's go we can do this we can do this win this game two to one for you what the f okay Plant you're out of here you're fucking out of here man I hate you what was that? We were in winning two to no, two to one. We come off in the third period. In the last five minutes of the third period, Plant gives up three goals, guys, to make us lose four to two. What the fuck is going on here, Plant? What what is wrong with you? You're supposed to be a, a stud goaltender. You're shitting the bed. Oh, okay. You know what? Fuck this, guys. Adar is back too. We're Who's Adar? Who the fuck is Adar? Is a right winger? Alright. My god. Salvador, you're out of there. For Christ's sake. I can't believe this is a thing right now, guys. I cannot believe they just did me dirty on this one. This is ridiculous. Blount, what is wrong with you? Why are you giving me... Like, why are you struggling so much? Like, what the fuck? Let on and you're going in there. You're our, our chance of winning the cup is with you. Alright? It's all up to you, buddy. All up to you. I'm putting all my ups, uh, hopes I got them lit on him. I don't care, guys. Plant, after the performance you just gave me, giving three goals away in the last five minutes of a third period in the playoffs. Stanley Cup uh, finals at that. Forget it. I uh, no, I don't. I do not forgive that at all. That's just ridiculous. Now we're trading three to nothing. We're probably not gonna win the cup. We uh, made it at the very end, at least. But I don't want to go off and get completely annihilated by the the other te opposing team. Though, let's give them a little bit of a challenge. At least win one game. You know, let's go, guys. I know you've got some offense in you. There we go. Four go four goals. There we go. See, give. Three goals away, that's fine, but at least we're, we score goals. We just need to score a little bit more goals here. So there's a win from Letonen right there. There's three to one. <laughs> I'm so, 
I'm so, guys, um, worried right here. Let on him. This is a chance again. I'm going all out with you, buddy. Two to one again. Let's see what he does. Unlike Plant, Litonin does not uh, choke at the, at the very five, uh, at the last five minutes. He doesn't choke and actually gives our team a chance to get back into things. There we go. Only one goal given from him. That's perfect. Perfect. Plant, uh, Litonin, you're going to be the goaltender who's going to do the job for us. All right. Two, three to two. Let's go for it. Third game. We're, we're going all out here. We're going all out, guys. And we gotta do this. I know we got it in us. I believe in you, Lettonin. Oh, fuck me. Well, we lost. We just lost. Here we go, guys. Congratulations, St. Louis Blues. They won 3 to nine, two, 1 in the last game. They ended up uh, uh, eliminating us in the Stanley Cup Finals in six games. We made a little bit of a comeback. We tried with Lettonin. Because Plant was shitting the bed, I couldn't. Um, that's the thing. That's the main difference. If you can't, if you can't even trust your uh, your main goaltender, how are you supposed to win a playoff? You know. So it's fine. I'm happy where we got because in the first season, our first year as GM, literally, we went off in the finals of the cup, and we made it to six games as well. It's just a shame, really. We couldn't score a lot of goals. We scored four goals twice. One goal only for this game, which is really not enough. That's just ridiculously low. Um, two goals only. Two goals only. Two goals only. We didn't score any goals in this series, guys. And that's what made the difference. Usually, we scored four goals minimum. Uh, three to four goals minimum. Now we weren't even scoring two, uh, three goals minimum. We were scoring below that, so that's a shame. But the Saint Louis Blues winning all, uh, just a sense of culture place. It doesn't matter anymore. We're uh, we're out of here. The season, the year is over. Um, I'm happy where we got. We lost against the Stanley Cup champions. I mean, obviously, our uh, the Saint Louis Blues ended up in the uh, eliminating us to win the Stanley Cup playoff. Uh, next year, we'll get him next year, guys. I mean, if we made it this far this year, I'm pretty sure next year we can make it a lot further into the playoffs, all right? For a more experienced team and everything, we made it to the Stanley Cup Finals first year. We can definitely go far for the next, uh, next time. So, let's go here. We're going to see uh, all the good stuff. Retired players... Um, draft picks, free agency. I don't know if I'm gonna have to time to. Oh, there is actually. They do show uh, the players. Okay, that's good. That's really good, guys. All right, so I'm gonna say. All right, so let's see who got uh, who retired. Chris Chelios retired defense wise. All right, that's really good. That's really uh, that's really interesting. So all these players decide to. Um, I can't look at them per uh, per se, but. I can look at their stats, I guess. Mark Ricky uh, retired as well. We've got Matt Sundin. So Matt Sundin, he tried to make it, uh, made it a little bit far, but uh, not far enough, and he ended up uh, retiring. So that was his last year, right there, guys. Uh, Martin Gilina, all right. Bobby Alik, Gary Roberts, all right. We've got a lot of players here. Alex Kovalev. Kind of could have uh, continued a little bit. He still had a couple of years. Oh well. Uh, Selani retired, guys. Anybody else? I think I think that's it, guys. For them, the goaltender wise. Let's see, what goaltenders. Uh, Bradar retired. Really? He didn't choose to get to the 6600 mark in this uh, uh, alternate ending, alternate universe. Actually, he retired earlier, guys. That's interesting. All right. Well, good luck to you, Mr. Uh, Badar. Uh, Curtis Joseph as well. I did not enjoy probably being the backup of Patrick Roy, so he just said, you know what, fuck it. I'm going to retire as well. Abby Bolin and Thibault. All right. So a lot of players, legends who decided to retire. Interesting. Let's just... 
We are going to go ahead and begin the initial entry draft. We are going to do the draft pick, the draft lottery. We are 20 to 29th in position. As you can see, we are not timed, so we can take uh, we can uh, take whatever we want to take our time with it. So as you can see here, the very first draft pick was uh, the Panthers. Now the Panthers, they have... Uh, they picked up Nikolai Alexandrov, so the very first pick for this year. 80 overall. Alright, pretty decent. Uh, Habi Bullion right here, I guess. Defenseman, not too much, uh, considering there was an 80 right here. So, uh, basically a bunch of busts. Not really busts, but they, they dropped the ball right there until uh, Dallas Stars and Phoenix got both uh, a couple of 80s. We got a 79 right here. That's really good. Nothing else so far, it looks like. It looks like uh, we got a 75 here, I guess. But doesn't look like there's uh, that big rookie player that's waiting for us. And it's pretty complicated the way it works in this one. So we'll have to see here how we're going to do things. Now, goaltender-wise, there is a, gold, a good goaltender maybe waiting for us here. Brian Beach looks like a, he's 19 years of age, though. Yeah, he's 19 years of age. All right, I take it back. He might... Uh, they're all 19. My God. I don't know what to, uh, what to get, guys. Uh, I'm going to say projection. Thank you. I just want to project the uh, projection here. So... Based on the projections, uh, this guy looks like he's going to be alright. Alright, we've got two options here. It's either we go for De Vries or we go for Ver Vernarski. Now the difference is one is projected to go in the second round. One is projected to go in the middle between the two uh, De Vries so, and Vernarski. Which one should I pick? They're both going to be probably, highly probably 75 around that mark. Um, I don't know who I should go for. Him or the other one. So let's see. Offensive awareness is 75. They're both 19 years of age. This guy, what about him? 90 overall. All right, we're going to go for Devris. 90 overall offensive awareness, guys. This guy is going to be a beast. Definitely go for Devris. All right. First, Bob Devris. First overall draft pick. Let's see what we got. Oh, we got to look at the first round. Let's see what we got, guys. Is he a 75 like we uh, we thought he was? He is a 70. All right, 70 overall. It's okay. It's okay. It's not um, the end of the. I mean, look at this, Len Dennis. We could have that. That is the thing. It's a goaltender. The goaltender we looked at and we said, Nah, fuck it. Uh, we uh, we didn't want seven enough. That's good. So we did a good choice. Uh, Pogi Vernerski. Okay, Vernerski ended up being a better choice then. That's interesting. So Venerki, Venerski uh, was a better choice. So a gold t I should have picked up Venerski or the goaltender instead. Uh, that's all fine, guys. Let's continue. Let me scout again. See what we got. Uh, I actually got a... There we go. Make sure that we are scouting properly here. So we don't have anything on these players. I say that's a 70, that's a 75, so probably around the 75 mark, 60, uh, 65 mark, probably 60. Um, uh, yeah, I guess it's 75. So I say it's a 65, 70. Um, it's probably a 75 to 70, 73. He's uh okay, so this guy. It's a little bit too old though. I don't want to pick up 29 years of age. Uh, I would pick up this guy though. He's definitely uh, younger. What about goaltenders? I want to see real quick. 75? Bogner? I don't know guys. What about this guy? Uh, plug, uh, plug playing frequency? Aggressiveness? Uh, I'm not entirely sure. I don't want to go for goaltenders. That's the thing. I don't want to go for goaltenders this early on. They're still in the third round. A uh, second round. Uh, Bulakov. 
could be I mean it could be pretty decent but I don't I don't know if that's a good idea to get him guys oh my god I don't know who to go for here I am gonna try my luck on this one we don't know too much about him it's Smogily yeah uh, we don't know too much about him we don't know his offensive awareness defense awareness might be bad let's just try him out you know what yeah let's try him out let's see what we got here so second round let's just go see what we got for the second round see if we got something good or something bad uh 67 it's not too bad it's not too bad guys it's better than i thought it would be so all right good i guess it's pretty decent defenseman defenseman 64 uh, 70, like 67 overall uh we missed out on so Bolin, Bulakov or the two so Bolin i should have got oh 75 yeah i'm i'm struggling it's not uh it's much more easier to find players nowadays though with the newer games i don't like this system right here i don't like it at all but oh well all right let's see i want to look at the ones that have the most offense really oh they don't uh okay well in that case we're just going to look at this 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 way so 75 this is our choices here these are our choices uh, i should say right here um these two players paul or la five 70 65 so i say 70 overall maybe more or less than that so 65 overall probably for him and this guy is probably going to be a 65 65 and a 60 probably going to be a 60 overall so i'm thinking the five should be a better player could be a better player and what if i choose a i could definitely choose a goaltender instead in this round so uh let me try my luck on okay this one is uh it's definitely uh younger it's the youngest one so i'm gonna pick up uh dwyer guys pick up dwyer this is the last one we're going to do because I, uh, last draft I'm going to do because I'm not good at draft picks, guys. I'm just not good. A 72 overall. Nice. That's a good goaltender. Anyone we missed up on? A goaltender? Not really. So, yeah, we did good. We did good, guys. We chose, uh, we chose really good. I'm going to skip the rest. I'll see you guys once the draft is actually done. Okay, guys, we finished up the draft. I just want to quickly see what the resign uh, thing looks like. So most like any other game really looks like. It actually shows, it doesn't show you, this is what's as great as well. Is it doesn't show you the players that are already signed. It only shows you the players that you need to sign right now. So you don't need to worry too much about stuff. All right. So, um... I guess uh, hang on, all affordable approach except signed interested okay so these are all the players we need to find right now all right the uh, the players that we need to s actually sign um I don't know now remember my thing that I said if they're not fully interested or at least mildly interesting uh, like uh, actually interested in us we cannot go for them we cannot go for them all right and uh, we cannot uh, offer more than uh, two million uh, offer more than two uh, than one million as well uh, in bonus to a player so let's see what we got how we're gonna do this 63 so this guy has a potential of B all right this guy has a great potential a overall oh yeah 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 I'm going to have to get this. This guy has a great potential. He's got an elite potential, guys. That's a top six right here. Fritsch is actually pretty good. He's been pretty good for us. So 22 points. But in this, he's a playoff guy. See, he's a playoff guy. He produces a lot in the playoffs. So def definitely want him back for sure. I want him back on the team. He wants 1.3 uh, per year. Uh, he wants one year only. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say if you want stat uh, one year only 
I want I want him for a couple of years, really. I want him for six years so he can be a 29 years of age. That should do it. Yeah, okay. So we're going to try 2.3 million, guys. Um, we'll see, For six years. We'll see if he re-signs with us. Uh, we'll see if that works out. Uh, hopefully it does. Uh, Williams. Jason Williams now. I'm not sure if I do want him back or not. Uh, defensive awareness is not that good. And offensive awareness is fine. Though, he does produce quite a lot for us, though. He does do a lot. He do, does do pretty fine. And playoffs is pretty good as well. Yeah, he's actually pretty good for us. Pretty good. He's not going to grow anymore. But uh, he is interested in playing for us. I just want to see really quick what type of players we have in free agency, though. I do want to be open about that. Uh, I do want to uh, sign this guy for sure, though. So definitely gonna sign this guy. Uh, what about Allen? Uh, Allen, do I want uh, to re-sign him? So let me just see real quick. So no, this guy doesn't have a good potential. I'm just gonna go ahead and let him go. I'm gonna let him go. Uh, this guy as well doesn't have a good potential. I'm gonna uh, let him go as well. Jason Williams, I'm gonna wait on you. De Vries. Uh, now, let's see. Our first overall draft picks is actually um, a B potential. We so he's pretty decent. He's a top six. He's not uh, an elite, but he's a top six. Um, let me just do that. Okay, so Sterling. Sterling was really good for us in the playoffs, as, you, uh, as we can see here. Actually, not that good. He trailed off afterwards. The, fair, the first round, he was really good. Um, minus 23, though. I'm not a big fan of him. He's, he didn't do too much for us. The Vries, I'm going to definitely sign him, though, because he's our prospect. And Lavalle, he's not that good. So I'm not going to sign him again. Yeah, C potential only. 70 overall. I don't want him. I don't need him. Okay, so Sterling, we're going to wait on you, buddy. Right wing. Let's see what we got. Um, Armstrong. Definitely want him back. Um, 82 overall, B minus. Let's see what he gets. He, he did for us. Oh yeah, he did really. Yeah, he did really great. Really great for us. So definitely we want him back. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if five years is a little bit too much for me. Uh, he's gonna be 32 years of age. Maybe. You know what? Yeah, sure. 32 years of age. Yeah, sure. Why not? We can give a, get him that contract. Um, that 2.5, yeah, that should be good enough. So we're gonna give him what he wants. Um, Adar. So let's just see what we got uh, for us. So Adar doesn't have that good of a potential. He's not gonna grow anymore. Say 79 overall. Let's just see what he uh, does for us. Really good. Playoffs, not so much. He's not a playoff guy. Um, He's definitely a good. He's a good player for the uh, the season, though season-wise, actually does pretty well for us. We're gonna wait on this guy. We're gonna wait, guys, because uh, at 79, you're definitely a player that can uh, play in the league itself. You know what? I can always yeah sign a Sterling. I can sign Sterling, guys. Why not? Sign him and. Give him the contract. Uh, give him a, a big contract or something. Give him a big contract and uh, get him back for a couple of of years just to play in the minors, I guess. Yeah, so I decided to sign again. Uh, once again, Adar. I am going to sign him. He's going to play in the minors. If we don't have the space for him, I'm fine with that. He's a player that uh, 79 overall. He's not in the 80s. 80s is a guaranteed uh, playing in the NHL for me though, but he's not in the 80s, so he can play the minors if we uh, have no space for him eventually. Also, we signed these two players, why not, right? Just to make the space for the uh, minors itself. Let's see if we have anything for defense. We've got uh, Matthew, Sch uh, Matthew Schneider. Um, pretty good def uh, defensive guy, yeah, really good defensive guy for us, so we definitely want him back. One more year, I guess, he's not going to stay here for too long. 
uh, definitely interested in us. So let's get him right here. Vatabic. Now Vatabic is going to have to go for... Uh, Vatabic, I guess, is not... So, see, Enstrom is not fully interested in us. So, I'm not sure if we should go for him or... Uh, I, it's okay to sign him, but I, uh, if he's interested like that, that means we're going to have to pay him a little bit more. Uh, Valabic, let's just see what we got. So, they've got good potential. Smogly, A-. minus. We definitely need to sign this guy. Okay, so let's just see what we got. Vatabic can grow a lot and he's actually a big pro a big time prospect for us. Uh, let's just see how he does. He's done yeah, he does pretty well. I'm definitely gonna want to re-sign this guy. 23, 23 years of age. Um wanna sign him for a big contract for big time uh, big deal. Okay, let's try him for three million at six years. I do want him for six years for a long time deal, guys. He's gonna be a big prospect for us. What about uh, Enstrom? Enstrom, I kind of want him back. Uh, if he did well, did he do well for us? No, he's in the minus. All right, no, we're not signing back Strom again, uh, Enstrom. We're not signing him back because he's not playing that well for us. He's not that good. Um, this guy, is he good? He's actually pretty decent. So we are going to keep him. Definitely. One year. Uh, no. No. Why not? Don't you, why don't you go just go for uh, one, uh, one, two, three, four years? That's uh, thirty years of age. So six years for one point three seven five is gonna be his contract, guys. There we go. That's perfect. And what about uh, Kvasvitsvich? He doesn't really want to go back with us. And he did pretty, he did all right, but I don't think he wants to go back with us. So we're gonna, we're gonna let him go. Don't want to sign him for no reason. This guy has a good potential though, and he's not gonna cost anything. He's a two-way deal, so we're definitely gonna re-sign him. Embley, not gonna grow, so I'm not interested in him. All right, the goalie, goalie-wise, we got Letonen in here that we need to figure out. Do we need to, do we need to re-sign him? I'm thinking definitely. Uh, let's see what he got for us this year. All right. Three goals per game. Saving percentage is really good. Uh, it's fine. And uh, defense go is really great. He's a playoff guy. When we need we needed him for the playoffs, he went uh, basically really did great for us. So we definitely want him back. He wants to sign for us for sure. Uh, with us for sure. Four more years. 29 years of age. Uh, that's 30, uh, 30 years of age, 31 years of age. I wanted to have the maximum years. So, so that's plus 400. So let's just see really quick. Plus 400. It's the, uh, I guess it's uh, like this. So it should be 2.5, uh, 4 million and 4.275 basically should get him for that amount of years. And Dwyer, Dwyer, I say, do we, do we need him? So this is a, one of the guys we, uh, I think we signed, bo we drafted both of these players this year. They're actually pretty decent goaltenders. They're not going to cost anything. Definitely going to sign them. Definitely uh, going to sign both of these guys. They're not going to cost me anything. Now let's go back. Do we want just uh, Jason Williams, guys? Let me just see really quick what he did. Minus, four, minus 14, plus 18, though. He's really good in the... He's a playoff guy. So let's give him a chance. Let's just give him one chance. Uh, so two years. Four years. Uh, three years. I guess that's 31, 33, uh, 32 years of age. So four years. Four-year deal. That's plus three. That's plus six million. So a 1.9, 1.9 million at uh, four years. Let's see if you want to come back, buddy. And uh, Kevin Dole, I don't need these guys right here. I think we're good. I think I did uh, what I had to do here. Nope, that's not what I. 
it's not what I wanted. Actually, let me just assign, advance a day and we'll see. Uh, it's going to be better for us like this. See who's going to resign with us and who doesn't want to resign or who we're going to have to give a bigger contract or something like that. Okay, goes from June. Yeah, I know. Okay, so Littonen decide to renew my contract. Littonen is coming back. All right, they're all coming back. Um, who's not coming back? Is there anybody that's not? No, everybody's coming back. It looks like, yeah, looks like everybody's coming back except these two. I don't want to resign this guy because he's not good, and Enstrom as well is just. We're gonna have to pay him more, and he's not like, he's not that good. No, he's not. He really not play uh, playing good for us. So. I am not interested in that guy at all. Let's just go for the free agency. We're going to look at the free agency, what type of player we've got. And you guys can let me know afterwards uh, who do you want me to get, I guess. Um, depending on that, I will go for certain players and stuff. I will go look at my contracts, look at the players we've got, what we need for the team. And uh, we'll go with that, all right? I'm not entirely sure. I don't know what we need right now exactly, so we'll have to see. But uh, let's see. So free agents. Let's see what we got in free agents. We need to obviously... Uh, affordable, that's not what I'm, uh, I want. Oh, well. Let's see what we got, all right? So all skaters. First, uh, first though, we're going to go for centers. Centers, we got Forsberg. We got Eric Stahl. Forsberg would be really good, but Forsberg, uh, yeah. No, he's still... He's still uh, got a couple of years available for him. Fedorov is a little bit too old, though. But we've got a lot of players here. We've got uh, left wing position. We've got Atangi, Shanahan. A little bit too old, though. We've got right wing position. Sikora, Letinen, Garen. All right. With the defense wise, we've got Zubov. That uh, would be a really good defenseman for us, actually. It's a 90 overall, even if he's 38, 38 years of age, guys. 90 overall. Oh, yeah, I'm thinking I want to get this guy for sure. I'm going to go. I'm definitely going to go for that defenseman right here. This is going to be a great defenseman for us. And goalies. Any goalies that uh, might be useful? Uh, we don't need a goalie, per se, but... Uh, just for the look of it, doesn't look like we have anything. So, a lot of good players. Let me know, you guys, what you want me to get. I'll see you all for the next one. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Keep it easy, guys.